All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to write rules for geometric sequences. Uh, this is something you've already done for arithmetic. Uh, the way it looks and the way it behaves uh, is a little different in the case of the geometric sequence, but uh, still pretty straightforward stuff if you just follow the rules and put the numbers in the right place. <coughs> All right, a rule, as always, is uh, an equation where a sequence of numbers follows. Okay. Same type of situation here. The general form. Uh, it looks a little different because I'm multiplying. So I have a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 power. n obviously is the number of term in the sequence. a sub n is the nth term of a sequence. a sub 1 is the first term. r is the common ratio. Not to be confused with common difference. Common difference we're adding and subtraction. Adding and subtracting. Common ratio we're multiplying. So, just took a sip of coffee. Uh, <clears throat> the rule for this sequence, right? I have this basic formula. Okay, first term in a sequence, that's going to end up being 2. So, everywhere I see a sub 1, pop a 2 in its place. All right, next thing we're going to want to do is find the common ratio. Well, to get from 2 to negative 10, I'm going to be multiplying by negative 5. And then to get from negative 10 to 50, I'm going to be multiplying by negative 5 again. You'll see the sign change means that r is a negative number, which is totally okay. And I see this pattern is going to continue. So I know my r value is negative 5. All right. And now, that's my rule. That's it. I don't need n. Folks always ask me, you know, how do you solve for n and all that stuff. We don't need to concern ourselves with that right now. Okay, we're just writing the rule. That's all you have to do. So there has to be an N, actually. All right, so let's say I had something like this, uh, <clears throat> where the numbers are actually going down. Okay, now I understand the notion of a number going down doesn't make any sense, but uh, this is the language that's commonly used among my students. So I go from negative 270 to 90. All right, we're going to think about this uh, in just a second. So I start with negative 270. Boom. That's my first term. Now my common ratio. I'm actually dividing by negative 3 every time. All right, And maybe it's a little weird for you to look at first, but you'll get better at noticing these patterns. So I'm dividing by 3, or I'm sorry, dividing by negative 3 every time. I know it's the negative because the signs are changing. And I know I'm dividing by 3 because, well, from 270 to 90 and then 90 to 30, 30 to 10, I'm dividing by 3. So I don't know how to write my R, okay? I don't know what to put there. So if I'm dividing, how do I write R as one nice thing? Well, I could write it as multiplying by negative 1 third. And now, this is something I'm comfortable with. So I could just rewrite r instead of like dividing by 3, because I don't know how to write that. I can say it's multiplying by negative 1 third. And so that's my rule. Negative 270 times negative 1 third to the n minus 1 power. And that's how it's done. All right, good luck on the rest of these problems.